Now, the next important thing is types of crosses performed by Mendel. But we should know what is cross. Dear students, a cross is nothing but the reproduction process carried out by fusion means mixing of male plant gametes with female plant gametes and this is done artificially inside a laboratory. The whole process is called as cross. Dear students, I have told you what is cross but you may have doubt how this cross is performed in lab. You can see it in the diagram. Cross means nothing but transferring pollens from anthers that is male part and to the carpel that is female part of the plant. Here male and female plants belong to different variety. The plants used here was Pisum sativum that is green pea plant. There were four types of crosses performed initially by Mendel which we can see on the screen. First one monohybrid cross, second dihybrid cross, third test cross and fourth is back cross. Let's start with the very first that is monohybrid cross. In monohybrid cross, mono means single and hybrid means combination. Mendel took tall variety of pea plant and crossed it with short variety of pea plant. Surprisingly, all the plants from F1 generation were tall and not medium or short as expected. After performing F1 self fertilization, he got three tall plants and one short plant, which can conclude F2 generation phenotypic ratio was 3 is to 1. Similarly, yellow pea plant crossed with green pea plant and the result was same that is all yellow seeded plants were observed in first generation and in F2 generation he got same 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio that means 3 yellow seeded plants with 1 green seeded plant and the genotypic ratio was 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now we will see second cross that is dihybrid cross. Here di means 2. Mendel took two varieties from each parent that is we can see in the picture yellow colored and round shape seed crossed with green colored and wrinkle shaped seeds. Here two variations can be seen that is color of the seed and shape of the seeds. Hence this cross is dihybrid cross. In F1 generation all the plants were with yellow colored round shaped seeds but in F2 generation as you can see 9 yellow round, 3 green round, 3 yellow wrinkled and 1 green wrinkled plant were observed. Hence here phenotypic ratio will be changed and it will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Now we will study third type that is 
test cross. A test cross can be used to determine whether an organism with a dominant phenotype is homozygous or heterozygous. For example, we can cross yellow seeded plant with green seeded plant, we will get all dominant that are all yellow seeded plants which indicates the unknown parent was homozygous because same phenotype is observed. Whereas in second case, one is to one ratio indicates parent was heterozygous because both phenotypes were observed. Now we will study last that is fourth type of cross which is back cross. It is very similar to test cross so we have to understand the difference between test cross and back cross first. Here in back cross F1 generation can be crossed with any of the two parents whereas in test cross it was compulsory to cross F1 with homozygous recessive parent only. As you can see in the example if plant is homozygous dominant that is round it can be crossed with wrinkled that is small r small r and we get 100% round as a phenotype and 100% heterozygous as a genotype. Whereas in second case the plant is heterozygous and the results are 50-50% round and wrinkled respectively. This is back cross. In this way we have finished this e-content part. Many more we have to learn in the future and e-learning is the new future that's what we can say.